What's going on guys, it's Atomic and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up and stream using Streamlabs. Hey guys, so looking back at this, I actually went through this all really quickly. So I'm going to leave some timestamps in the description. So if I go too fast, you can just click on the timestamp and it'll take you to the part of the video that I might have covered too, quick too quickly. So make sure to check that out guys. Alright, so if you've ever used any type of OBS software before, it's relatively simple. It's honestly not that much of a change. Um, let's see. So first you're going to want to download and open up the software. And once you have it opened up, there's three main sections. There's a scene section, a source section, and a mixer section. So um, in the mixer section, this is where you can set up your desktop audio, your mic audio, stuff like that. So um, you see if I have it set on speakers, then I pick up the music that I have playing. But if I go back and put on default, then it'll just switch over to whatever default full screen window I have. Um, for mic, I can change the device to voice meter, which is the mic that I'm using right now. And we'll test that out for you. This is just a little test. What's up, my dudes? Hello? Oh, shit. Jay's here now. Alright, so the mic's working. And that's pretty much how you set that up. It's relatively simple. Alright, guys, so that's gonna be your mixer section. That's where you can control all of your audio. Alright, so now if you go over to your sources section and click the little plus and hit display capture, you can set up which display of your monitor you wanna capture and record. So you go to add new source and you choose your monitor, so I'm using display zero. And uh, yeah, we're picking up the actual software right now. So once you have that done, you can add more sources. So if you go over to video or uh, game capture, you can add um, a source that captures any full screen application. So I'm gonna load up Apex Legends and show you guys how that works. And there you go, it's really that simple. You just make sure your settings for the game are set to full screen and Streamlabs will pick it up. All right, so next up, we're gonna add an alert box. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to add and set up alerts in a second, but just make sure that you have your alert box set up first so you can see whenever alerts pop up. All right, now to customize your alerts, make sure you go to the top left corner and hit dashboard, go down to widget gallery, go to alerts, and hit test follow. And that's how you're gonna get your alert to pop up. So this is my custom alert. Alright, so to add your custom template for alerts, go up to the themes category up at the top and go to widget themes and we'll choose this theme to test out for right now. So you're going to want to just hit install and choose which themes you'd like to install. So we're just going to select all. So we're going to go ahead and just hit test follow and go back to editor and there you guys go. There's your custom alert. Alright so once you have your alerts all set up you can go back to themes and go ahead and go over to one of these themes. We're going to choose this blue theme because this is honestly the nicest one out of the bunch. So with these themes they have different um, cards that pop up during your stream that you can change. So. If you're planning on starting the stream soon, ending it soon, or you're taking a short break, all of these theme cards will help you out with that. Alright, so another tip within your scene section of the editor is setting up transitions. So as you can see, you can change your transitions just like that. Hit the settings icon and go over to the little edit tool and choose any type of uh, scene transition. So my favorite is probably fade to color or probably swipe. But yeah, these uh, transitions are super easy to use. They're, um, they really work great with anything, to be honest. Alright, so now I'm going to be showing you guys the live folder of Streamlabs. And here just shows anything from your subs, donations, resubs, any stats that you have while streaming. Alright, and finally I'm going to be showing you guys how to link your accounts, whether it be Twitch or YouTube, to Streamlabs. So you're going to want to go up to the top right corner to the little gear icon and go down to stream and here's where you're going to be entering in your stream key and changing your streaming service 
So I use Twitch and I just copied and pasted my stream key there. But if you don't know how to find your stream key on Twitch, I'll show you guys that real quick. So honestly, all you have to do is go into Google, type in Twitch stream key and load up your dashboard. It's the first link that pops up and your stream key will be right there. All you got to do is copy that and paste it into there in Streamlabs and you're ready to go. All these other options I wouldn't change. I'd keep the output mode and everything and the output the same. Just maybe change your destination folder for recordings and then go down to audio or video and just set that up how you like it. Um, I like streaming at an output of 720p with 60 frames. So whatever you can stream at, make sure you set it to, to that. All right, I hope I covered some topics that helped you guys out. If you have any questions, please make sure to let me know in the comments section, and I'll definitely make sure to help you guys out. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.